26, we've actually changed the country through movements like this. All of us were part of that. We know it can work. We use the other techniques. I'm so encouraged by the use. They use Twitter, Facebook. Uh, the Arab Spring was largely driven by Twitter and Facebook. And so we, we can do it. We can actually energize our country, but it means all of us need to roll up our sleeves. It means we must walk together. At the moment, we are at the bottom, we're walking apart or we're walking behind. Peris read, led us on the dinner king scenarios and I think we all um, know it well and we all realize that we've actually got to, in this movement, walk together. And this movement crosses all boundaries, all political boundaries, all racial and other boundaries. So we need to actually get involved. How can we get involved? We can stop being voiceless, apathetic subjects. Now that guy there is not John Gilmore. <laughs> John Gilmore would never be seen dead laying my bed. He doesn't drink beer by the way. That's what our citizens are. We gave up in 1994. In 1976 we all stood up, we all fought, but in 1994 that's what we became. I can but I won't. They must, the government must, the district director must, the principal must, the church must. That's where we are. Oh, it's a lovely picture when we launched um, our offices in Cape Town and uh, our first citizen, you can see her there with a lovely woman she is. <coughs> and so what I'm challenging us to do is to get away. Now this is the education system sadly. Um, I, I'm, I'm using the ship because um, about 56% of our learners drop out before they reach grade 12. 56%. Um, in our district, 82% pass. Um, it's seen as one of the best districts in the country. But I lose sleep at night because one in 10 gets a job. And of that 82%, they pass with a mediocre pass, 30-40%. You know they can barely write or come. So that 82% that the Western Cape celebrates is not really an 82% because one in 10 gets a job. So I've been really thinking about this. And so I want to propose the following. And when we discuss this, if you can think about this way forward, I'm not married to it. I want you to interrogate it. I want us to start thinking about the learner like this, where we start grouping together and give our principals and our teachers a real um, network of support, an umbrella of support. Now this is from the DBE's website, from our education department's website. I'm sure police is going to make magic and make this a reality because in this case we see that all the agencies, all the NGOs, all the constituent parts act together. Britain's got this, Montpellier spoke about every child matters. They've got a policy that forces every government department to work in an integrated way. We don't have something like that. We talk about seamless government, but we don't action that. And so this encapsulates what needs to happen. So when a child is born, it needs this kind of love and care.